is. The legendary one HZ. Bulletproof. Toyota's most reliable engine. And I've done a head gasket. So I've got to pull this apart today and take you on a journey. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got a workshop manual and a bunch of tools. And yeah, we're going to see how bad it is. I've got to pull off almost everything you can see here. So we're going to have fun. Heaps of little bees around because I sprayed it with WD-40 and the native bees love it. So me and the bees are going to pull this engine apart today. And yeah, see what we're looking at. It's worth mentioning that I am not a mechanic. In fact, I've been fighting with my whippersnipper for six months straight and I can't get it started. 260,000 Ks. Right at the back of the head, I've got coolant leaking out on this side and oil on the other side. Uh, also got an oil leak just under here. I shut it off before it got hot. Too hot anyway. So hopefully the head isn't cracked. Um, and hopefully we can just get it re-skimmed and put a new gasket in and she'll be all good. However, it may not be. So it's only one way to find out. Time for a little birthday for the troopy. So this is your glow plug rail. Without your glow plugs, your headlights don't glow, so it's really handy to have those. Good little dudes. Next up we've got, got these fuel lines. From what I understand, they have to be removed in a very specific order. Um, they run down to the fuel pump here. So you gotta go down this side and then down the other side. And hopefully they all come out without a problem. Well, got all the fuel lines pulled off. Next I can pull the power steering reservoir off and this intake. And we're nearly done on this side. So that's the injector rail removed. I've got to remember to put there's an earth on the lifting point on the back of the engine there. Do not forget to put that back on, Jamie. And this guy goes on the glow plug rail. That's this side done. Onto the extractors. Well, that's the exhaust loosened off. I think I'm on the front. So now I've got to remove the radiator shroud, AC compressor. What else? Timing belt cover and the timing belt plate. So there's this big plate that sits here which the camshaft runs into. So I'll get this front off and then get the rocker cover off and we'll see what's in here. So this fan and the radiator shroud have to come off together.
All right, there's a bit more room to play now. I'm gonna loosen off this AC tensioner, which will loosey-goosey this belt. So that's our aircon compressor. There's actually a giant freezer compressed into that, which is what makes the air cold. That's how they work. And that's our water pump. Pumps water. Clue is in the name. So I'll pull that off, get the AC compressor out of the way. Then we've got to get this cover off and have a look at the timing belt. Oh, down here is, I think it's the vac vacuum pump. And I've got a little bit of a leak coming from that, an oil leak. So while it's all apart, I'll probably pull that off, reseal it up and put him back on. And this is my alloy radiator, terrain tamer. Supposedly stops your troopy overheating. Hmm. Drops in down. Takes the tension off this belt. If your aircon is real squeaky, you got a squeak. It's more than likely this guy. That's the AC tensioner bearing, and they die all the time. Lots of belts down here. A couple of alternator belts. Put a new belt kit through this, so there'll be spares. Look at that bloody coolant. Okay, now all that's loosened off. I think, I think I've got to pull this bracket off and then I can get to the air AC compressor bracket. Couple of bolts in there, and she should move. Let's have a look. Okay, she doesn't move. Must be still one more bolt. Should have done that one first. Okay, if you're pulling your AC condenser off, there's a little bolt right at the back, down in here. And, um, Make sure you do him first. That took me a lot longer to get off than it should have. Okay, there's not really anywhere for this to go, so it's probably just gonna sit there for the time being. So I'm essentially doing this to help me be able to put this back together at the end. But if it helps somebody on the internet out there, I guess that's a good thing, isn't it? So we're chasing the timing belt is in here. Then we can pull the timing belt off and I'll pull the rocket cover off and we'll be rocking. So from my understanding this is the timing belt and um, yeah without that you're never on time so if you got a mate that's always late, tell him to get his timing belt checked. So according to YouTube, I gotta line this little marker up here with this little marker that's up here. Because uh, if you don't do that, and there's another couple of markers down here that you have to line up as well. So your engine is always on time and you won't be late for things pretty special moment for me today I finally got to use my 32 millimeter socket first use ever so happy birthday 32 mil so as you can see I've got this line here matched up with that guy and down on the fuel pump Get those two lines matched up as well. Now I can pull the tensioner off, just this little spring here, and then I'll pull the rocker cover off, and we're nearly there. Honestly, we're nearly there. Shout out to Mr. 32, debut, debut appearance in my life. <sighs> Another two hand job. Need to use more swear words. Oh, you fucking. Ah. Oh, 
That was a pain in the ass. So now I should be able to slide this tiny belt off. So there you go. Next stop, what do we got? I'll take the rocket cover off and we can get this gear off. And I think this gear. And we can pull these plates off, I think. Is that what I'm doing? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. And then I should be able to get the head off. Exciting. You look like a monkey. You're a fucking monkey. Ooh, ah, ah. See? Monkey. <laughs> Should have got me hair did for the video. I'm still wearing makeup. Well, oh, looks like an engine. I might drop all the oil out of it before I go any further. It's probably a good idea. What was that? <laughs> there we go. It's the camshaft. So these are the head bolts, which I have to undo. There's like 24 of them, I think, or something. So now I can put a shifter on here and I can undo this bolt and then I should be able to get this plate off. What the hell is that? What is that? That's not normal. Fucking alien. Anyway, where was I? Behind here, there should be a little keyway. Hopefully I don't get bitten, stung by that bug. So, I should be able to slip him off. <laughs> Needs a bit of um, persuading. Maybe a lot of persuading. So you got that little gap in there and that sits on the little keyway there. Should be able to pick him out. Little half moon fella. So he goes in there. So that locates this onto your camshaft from what I understand. I don't know. So now I'll undo the tensioner and then I can pull this plate off and unbolt the head and we're on. Donkey Kong. Ah, eight mil Allen key bit in here too. It's not eight mil. That's eight mil. A lot of grunts. I'm gonna do a grunt compilation at the end of this video. I need two hands, I'll pull him off. Yep, of course. Okay. So there's a little plate that goes behind the tensioner. Don't forget, don't forget. I'm gonna forget. I think I can just pop this plate off now. Beautiful. 
Okay. We're nearly there. These are the head bolts. There's a very specific way that you're supposed to remove them, otherwise you can crack. You can basically crack the head, I think, when you take it off. So, because they're under so much pressure, like me, you know. Yep, I'll look it up in the book. It's in there somewhere. Check the Bible, the Old Testament, and um, we'll get stuck into it. Cam shafts out. Oh, for head bolts. On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident do you feel about us lifting this off now? Solid 3. <laughs> okay. The time has come. You look like a spider, there's just parts of you everywhere. Fucking limber, eh? <laughs> I can't wait till you do your back in. Oh, no. You're nearly 32. You've got to look after yourself. So the head's off. Doesn't seem too bad. It was mainly at the back there where it's been leaking. So I'll pull this gasket off and we'll see what we're looking at. The head actually looks alright. Like at first glance. I don't know if you can see, it looks like there's a crack there and there, just there and there. Nearly Shit every light. single one of them. They're all cracked. Well, it looks like and it's all corroded. It's all corroded around this valve. So I don't know what the go is there. I think we're in for a new head. New head time. I think so. Well. Off the road for a bit, Snoot. Thanks for coming on this ride. And um, I guess I'll see you when I've got a new head. And we'll do it all again. In reverse.